I'm lucky enough to have this lovely home tub that I can do my pedicure in but you can basically use any tub that you have and just fill it with water that suits you best add some bath salt so that water is soft and it will basically moisturize your feet as well First you begin by taking off any nail polish that you may have, like me, I've got some nail polish on my feet so I'm just going to take it off. First you begin by taking off any nail polish that you may have, like me, I've got some nail polish on my feet so I'm just going to take it off. Basically just have a little um, chair in front, in front of you where you can place your feet and put a towel on it so that it's easier to work. Once you've done that you can now cut your nails but I don't want to cut my nails because um, I just want them to have a bit of a free edge so they don't look are short. So, um, once you cut your nails, you'll need to file them. File them in any shape that you like, but remember that you need to use a nail file which is 180 grit or higher. So this one says that it's 180 grit from both sides. And basically you can use anything that's 180 or higher. If it's lower, it is not meant for your natural nails, it is meant for your for any like fake nails like gel or acrylic. So don't use it because it's too harsh for your natural nails. So file gently and once you have filed your nails just apply a cuticle softener on your cuticles to make them soft so it is easier to push them back and to get rid of any dead skin later with the nippers so. then take a pusher which looks something like this it has one side which is like a little spade and the other is the sharp side start with the one that has the little spade and gently push back cuticles. You'll see all that dead skin coming off your nail. So push it. But be gentle not to scratch your nail. You don't want to leave any marks. So the cuticle softener has done its job well. It's very easy to push them back now. Make sure you push it all back because this is really the really important step so that your nails look neat. Next you will need to use your nippers and nip any dead skin. So you hold your nippers like this so it is easy to open and close them. And then just cut off any dead skin and this is why we have this towel here so we can wipe any anything that we cut off there so our tool is clean all the time so you make the nail neat from the sides in the cuticle area cut off any dead skin Any skin that's dry around the nail, you can just nip it off. So every nail, you see how it all comes off nicely. Don't cut too much if you got into your skin the skin that's not dead, 
she's going to grow back more but if you just cut off whatever is dead already it will just make them look neat and nice I don't know if you can see it in the camera but once I cut off all the dead skin it just looks so neat straight away so my right foot I haven't done anything so you can have a look closer I have a lot of like skin there and my left foot however and for job just done um, I think it looks fantastic so I'll do the same for my right foot I hope you can see all this all this dead skin on my nail so this is how you just gently use your nippers to get rid of it Once you have cut all your cuticles, all you need to do is apply some scrub on your feet. This will help to take off any dead skin that you have and make your feet softer. So apply the scrub all over your feet. You'll need to have a good scrub and begin scrubbing all that hardness away. So this step you just do as long as necessary. Once you have done that, just towel dry your feet and apply cream any good feet cream that you have So I think you can see a quite a big difference of how my feet were and how they are now. But just to make them even more perfect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a French manicure on my feet. Because we just applied some cream, we need to use nail polish remover to remove it from our nails. So that's what I'm going to do. Make sure that nail polish remover hasn't got any moisturizers or oils in it because that will just leave your nail oily and the nail polish will not last long so you need something that doesn't have any oils or moisturizers in it now you just need to separate your fingers a bit more so it's easier to polish them um, what you do is just, just take a tissue and just twist it like this and that's good enough plus every time you'll be using a new one so it is hygienic okay they look silly now but we just need to polish them and then that's it so begin by using base coat I'm using Kinetics Professional Nail Systems base coat the base coat will make your um, nail polish last longer. It also protect your, protects your nail from any colouring. For example, if you're using bright red nail polish, the base coat will protect it from colouring. So that is it. My little fingers are so little, so... So once you have applied base coat, you can now apply the white line of your French. And do not worry if, if you touch your skin, because we're going to deal with it later, or if it's not 
100% even, don't worry about that either because I'm going to show you how to fix it there you see I got my skin quite a lot because my skin is quite near to the nail You can just wipe it off straight away, all of this excess color, but anything that you don't wipe off will deal with it later, so don't worry about it. Just keep going to... You can apply two coats if you like the color to be a bit brighter. Now you just need to wait for the white polish to dry a bit and then we can move on to the next step. But you, what you can have prepared is acetone and just some like a brush, like something like this that you can use to clean up anything that doesn't look right. So now once the white line is pretty much dry You'll need to have an adstone. I have it in a little dappen dish like this. Uh, a tissue where to wipe off your brush and the brush that I showed you before. And what you do, you just dip the, your brush in adstone, dry it a bit. And then just fix this line, make it all nice and even with the brush. It really nicely evens out because of the adstone. You can just clean up any bits that are too much or make a nice shape, nice smile line. and clean anything that's around the nail as well. And you can see it's already being neat. If you need, just use a bit more acetone and fix more. So keep doing this until you're happy and then, then move on to your next nail. But rem remember to keep on wiping your brush clean, otherwise the white nail polish But remember to keep on wiping your brush clean all the time. or you will just smudge the whole nail but you can compare both of my feet you can see the right feet is really messy and the left one is really nice and neat and finally just apply top coat I'm using again Kinetics Professional Nail Systems quick dry top coat it is amazing and it makes the nail polish dry so super quick. It leaves your nail shiny and again, your nail polish will last longer. So this is the finished look of nice, summery, perfect pedicure and also French that you can do on your feet. And I'm really happy and I hope this video has helped you to create good looking feet.